Well, continuing coverage now of a new charter school in Madison. The plan for an all-boys charter school in Madison has now changed to include girls. And with that, it clears its next hurdle. News 3's David Douglas explains. Yeah, the state had held back on awarding a planning grant, Sarah and Eric, over legal concerns of a single-sex school. Now with a new plan for a girls' campus in the Urban League back school's first year, the Madison School Board said tonight, okay, and the state will now likely award the money. Thank you for your partnership and support. The news the Urban League got tonight was good, but the group has had a rough week getting here. I think we're all on the same team, and the goal of that team is to provide the best opportunities for our children. Tonight's chance to talk about Madison Prep's future came on top of a chance to raise funds for the program. The hastily, though legally scheduled board meeting has Kaleem Kerr, the Urban League CEO, upset with the superintendent. On a date when Dan knows we had a, a, our first major fundraiser for the school schedule tonight, which the host decided to cancel so people could be here. So does that sound fair? But he's not the only one unhappy. T.J. Mertz, an education activist, says he was told to leave an Urban League meeting last night, set to discuss education issues for African-American students because he was a blogger. There were people in there who publish magazines, who keep blogs, who were allowed to stay. Care says they'd hoped to allow a free environment for discussion, but didn't make the right decision. So we really put ourselves out there on that one to make a judgment call on something. We know we never had done that before. Um, we won't do it again. In tonight's open meeting, not everyone and supported the plan for Madison Press. And I feel that here, some people may feel that it's politically correct to vote this in to save face. But in time, the Urban League hopes to bring its detractors around. And the only way that we can make our dream work is with teamwork. There are still many unresolved issues, including the school's budget. The cost to add a girls' campus could nearly double the money needed to launch the school, perhaps pushing the price tag toward $10 million. Final approval, rather, is pending, though the league does hope to begin class next fall. All right, thanks so much, David.